as I am with singing, gladness and joy will be theirs. Sorrow and sighing will run away and never be heard. The ransomed of the Lord shall be told. Forever, everlasting joy, the victory song of our Savior, the ransomed of the Lord, shall return to Zion with singing. The song of the redeemed will rise up from every Freedom from fear will be ours. Our troubles and trials will fade in light of His glory. The song of the redeemed will rise up. Everlasting joy will be our anthem for Him. song of our Savior, the song of the redeemed, will rise up from every nation. We'll sing the wondrous love of our Lord. And our Savior will dance to the victory song of our Lord. And our Savior will sing the wondrous love of our Lord. And our Savior will dance the victory song of our Lord. And our Savior, the song of the redeemed will rise up from every nation freedom from fear will be ours our troubles and trials will fade in light of his glory the song of the redeemed will rise up everlasting joy will be our anthem forever, everlasting joy, the victory song of our Savior. Oh, everlasting joy, will be our anthem forever, everlasting joy, the victory song of our Savior, the victory song of our Savior, the song redeemed will rise up in every nation the song of the redeemed the song of the redeemed the song of the redeemed will rise up up in every nation. Yes, there's supposed to be believers in every nation all around the world that know that they're redeemed and they're singing the songs that, that people are singing in heaven. We're singing the song of the redeemed. Praise God. And he's always giving us new songs because, you know, they're probably creating new songs in heaven all the time. 
And they want us to join in and sing them too. So he's kind of cluing in. The Holy Spirit's telling songwriters, you know, here, sing this new song. And, you know, it may come spontaneously at first. And then mm -hmm. it becomes a song that churches sing. And it becomes a song that everyone hears around the world. Because we're supposed to be in union with the people and the worship and what is all going on in heaven. It's not separate from us because our real life is hidden in Christ with God and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. So our life is in heaven. It's true. Our real life is in heaven. And I know sometimes people don't realize that because they're kind of focused on the world down here and you know things that are going wrong and how hard some things can be but this is not our real life this is what do they call it dress rehearsal yeah. <laughs> getting ready for heaven and of course the lord is going to you know cleanse this earth and wipe things clean before we come back with him to rule and reign for a thousand years so you know, don't think of this as the way things are now as the way it's going to be for a long time because it's not. This is very temporary and our real life is with Christ and he sits in the heavenly realm and we are seated with him. That's an awesome thing to look up in Ephesians chapter 2 that we are seated with in Christ at the right hand of the Father. That's our real home. Yes, it That's is. where the body is because where the head is is where the body is. But we can be his body here in the earth because we're still living in these earth suits, right? <laughs> Human tabernacles. But that's how we have authority in the earth. The Lord designed it that way. He couldn't have authority over the earth because he'd given it to man. And then man handed over to, to Lucifer or Satan in Genesis. You can read about that in those first three chapters. But... Um, God had to come in the form of a human being because that's originally how he intended for authority to be exercised in the earth. So he's given this authority to us. Once he was resurrected, he came back and told his disciples, you know, hey, go into all the world because I died and I was raised up and God gave me back all the authority I was supposed to have. Plus, he had defeated the devil for us. And he tells his disciples to go make disciples of all nations. And it's same thing for all of us. You know, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers. <laughs> you know, everything that Jesus did, right? But we're supposed to have authority in this world and not just allow it to run crazy. Things look crazy right now, but we still have to be using our authority. Now more than ever, and we can sing these songs of the redeemed because... You know, the earth is not our final home, but we are supposed to make it nice while we're here. You know, True. we still are supposed to keep things the way that God wants them to be. With the kingdom of God advancing and the kingdom of darkness running for cover, you know, <laughs> praise God. He's trying to make it look like the kingdom of darkness has power but it's only borrowed power. He works through people to try to accomplish, you know, his evil purposes.